649, neat picture here from our Colorado lottery camera. You've got some low-lying stratus over portions of the plains out into Colorado Springs and out to our east. You've got some mid and high level clouds and kind of seeing some brighter pictures there with that sun beginning to come up. Nice looking shot there. It's going to be partly cloudy and cold today with a high of only 41 degrees. Winds are going to be out of the southeast at 6 and overnight lows tomorrow morning into the teens once again. Same for Pueblo, 42 and chilly this afternoon with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Saturday morning lows dropping down to 19 degrees. We've got yet another system working its way into the Pacific Northwest. We've got snow in Idaho and into the Wasatch this morning around Salt Lake City. And here in Colorado, we've seen some spotty snow showers out across the plains. We've got a little bit of snow shower activity out to our west, but we will continue to see periods of snow today, tonight, Saturday and into Sunday. So for this afternoon, we'll see more snow kind of building into the mountains. A few snow showers may work their way across the front range into the Palmer Divide down towards Colorado Springs and Pueblo, not going to last very long. And then we'll get an enhancement in some snow showers as we head overnight and into Saturday morning. A little lull for uh, Saturday late morning and then another round of snow coming in as we head into the afternoon. This deep trough of low pressure stretches all the way down to Phoenix. It lifts to the north and east a little bit tomorrow and then continues to pull to the east on Sunday, allowing high pressure to start to build in behind that. So a northwesterly flow tomorrow and again on Sunday is going to keep us cool and breezy. Here's a look at our future wind gusts as we go into the 1 o'clock hour on Saturday. Winds gusting anywhere from 30 to 40 miles an hour. I-25 up to 45 in Walsenburg, 33 in Salida. So you can see the strongest winds are I-25 and back to the west, not nearly as strong out across the far eastern plains as we head into the afternoon and evening. But we will see another round of snow coming our way Saturday afternoon, snow showers by Saturday night. That next wave begins to build in. Doesn't look like we see much into the I-25 corridor, but you get the idea that those snow showers will continue as we work our way into the day on Sunday. 10 to 14 inches, that's I-70 areas north in the pink, say around uh, some of the ski resorts up there, Steamboat, and then ski country looking probably 6 to 8 inches of snow, maybe up to 10 inches uh, in some places. Very little here along the I-25 corridor. Cloudy and cold this morning. As you walk out the door, we've got morning starts in the teens and low 20s. We're at 20 Canyon. City 18 in Salida, 19 in the La Junta area. Warming up this afternoon only into the upper 30s and low 40s. 41 Colorado Springs, 42 in Pueblo, 40s out across the plains, and 43 in Canyon City. And then again tonight, as we work towards sunrise Saturday morning, teens and 20s here across the area, it's going to be another cool day with the low 40s for Colorado Springs, 48 in Pueblo, and about 44 degrees in Canyon City, only 18 in Leadville for tomorrow afternoon. So our chances for snow are minimal. Don't see much in terms of accumulating snow. We'll gradually warm by Monday back to 57, and by Wednesday and Thursday, we're back into the mid-60s. 42 degrees this afternoon for Pueblo, 48 and 55 Saturday and Sunday. But gradually by Wednesday and Thursday, we've got mid and even upper 60s, close to 70 degrees. Monument Palmer Lake, you may see a few snow showers this afternoon and this evening. It's going to be a chilly and breezy to windy Saturday, 43 Sunday. We're back into the low 60s by Wednesday. Looking at Canyon City, same deal, maybe a shower this evening. It's going to be cool through the weekend, but by the middle of next week, we'll warm back to 65 for Wednesday and Thursday. Woodland Park. You're one of the areas a little further out to our west that may see some snow showers this evening and later into the nighttime hours. Again, a chance for 